So the question is asking this, at what frequency is the magnitude of the reactance of um, some capacitance, capacitor equal to that of uh, some inductance inductor? And okay, and it's asking the driving frequency of certain hertz, the magnitudes of the are the same. Okay, so this is setting up some kind of a word question. You have uh, formulas for the reactance of the capacitor and the inductor. So again, I like to use impedance, <laughs> the complex impedance. So what I'm gonna do to make sure my notations match your textbooks. I'm going to say I'm considering the absolute value or the magnitude of the impedance of these things. And um, the magnitude of the impedance of capacitor is one over omega C and the impedance of inductor is omega L. So the question want these two magnitudes to be the same. So you set them equal to each other. And I guess I'll just solve for omega and um, and then I will be, yeah, and then I'll take it from there. So the equation that I'm solving omega out of is one over omega C is equal to omega L, multiply both sides by omega, that moves this to omega squared, multiply both, by, both sides by one over L, that gets me L here, gets rid of here. So it gives me, the angular frequency omega is equal to square root of one over LC. Um, I, I hope uh, when you look at it, this seems familiar. And the answer here would be, so you need to convert this to frequency. So it should be one over two pi to convert the radians per second to Hertz times square root of one over LC. And uh, I hope you remember the square root of one over LC from when we talked about LC circuit, I guess last week with the uh, time varying circuits. And um, it, it's not an accident that you said again. Um, at this frequency, something special happens. So your textbook uh, illustrates this you with, um, uh, with a phasor diagram. Um, which is a two-dimensional diagram showing, I guess, phase of oscillatory phenomena. And when it comes to impedance, the way I like to think about this is actually the real and the imaginary axis. So the complex plane um, where I can illustrate the complex impedances of the, uh, of the linear circuit elements. So one over I omega C and I omega L, or if I uh, rewrite it so that I is um, in the numerator, then this should be minus I one over omega C. So the impedance of a capacitor goes in the negative direction along the imaginary axis. Impedance of the inductor goes in the positive direction. So this frequency is where the magnitudes of these two impedances are the same, meaning they will, um, if you imagine adding them together and they add together the normal way um, on the complex plane, like head to tail, and at these frequencies where they will add up to zero, they will kind of cancel each other out. And that's why at this frequency, special things happen. You find the resonance um, and you also find if you uh, stop driving the circuit, you also find that the circuit oscillates at this frequency. So, um, so this question is just asking you so that asking you when these magnitudes are the same, uh, so that you see this quantity again. But the reason for that goes, oh, uh, well, one step deeper. <laughs> 